In this video we're going to look at adding some fractions with different denominators once again, uh, but we're going to look at some situations where the denominators are a little more difficult to work with. So um, let's start with 7 48 plus 4 15. Uh, first of all, uh, when I look at 48 and 15 it's not obvious to me what the least common multiple of those is. Um, and so because of that and the fact that 48 and 15 are, at least 48 is a, a larger number, um, I would suggest using the prime factoring method here. And we worked on this a lot in section 3.1 with the least common multiple, and we've seen it a few other times as well. So we go ahead and prime factor each number. And so there's our prime factorization for each. And remember, our least common multiple of these numbers, which is our going to be our least common denominator, is just the product of each of the prime factors we see raised to the highest number of times they appear in any one number. So 2 appears 4 times in 48, right? So I'm going to, and there's, it appears no, no times in 15. But nevertheless, I need 4 of them in the LCD because I'm going to need four factors of two in order, in order for 48 to fit into the LCD. Uh, there's a three in 48 and there's a three in 15, but since there's just one in each, one is enough to have in the LCD. There's a five in 15, but not in 48, so we'll have a five in the LCD as well. And so we go ahead and multiply all this out. Um, two to the fourth um, is two times two, which is four, times two, which is eight, times two, which is 16. 3 times 5 is 15. So a little scratch work up here. We'll multiply 16 times 15 and end up with looks like 240. So our LCD is 240. All right. So now we've got to make each of these fractions 7 48ths and 4 fifteenths, we need to make each of them have 240 as the new denominator. So the question we need to ask here is what do I multiply 48 by to make 240? Now remember the way that always works is to just do long division. Take 240, divide it by 48, and your answer here is what you multiply 48 by. Now it turns out you get 5 here, but before we uh, move on with that, what I, uh, what I want to show is a little shortcut, and I've showed this before, but it, I think it's good to see it a couple times. So the idea here is we can figure out that 5 is the thing to multiply by going to the LCD and crossing out anything in the LCD that appears in 48. So uh, so I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this 2 to the 4th here, it came from 48. So I'm going to kind of ignore that. And then uh, there's a 3 in 48 and a 3 in the LCD, so I'll cross that out. But notice there's a 5 in the LCD, but not a 5 in 48. So the 5 is what 48 is missing. And so that tells us what we want to do is multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by 5. Okay. With the 15, we've got the same thing happening. You could always just divide uh, 240 by 15. And if you do, you'll get 16. Okay, no problem. Okay, but how else could you get at that? Well, there's a 5 in 15, so cross out the 5 in the LCD, you don't need that. There's a 3 in the 15, so cross that out in the LCD, you don't need that. But there's no 2's in 15, so that must mean we need to multiply by what's left over here, 2 to the 4th, which we know is 16. So uh, we can figure out that 16 is the thing to multiply by that way. So multiply by 16 on top and bottom. And so now, let's see, 7 times 5 is 35. 4 times 16 is 64. And so then we just need to add those together. Um, it looks like I've got 
99 over 240. Now, remember we have to check to make sure that our fraction can't be reduced. And I look at both of these numbers and let's remember our little trick about um, about when something is divisible by 3. If I add the digits and their sum is divisible by 3, then the number is. So 9 plus 9 is 18. That's divisible by 3. 2 plus 4 plus 0 is 6. That's divisible by 3. So I actually know I can divide both the top and the bottom of this fraction by 3. And when I do, I get 99 divided by 3 is 33. 240 divided by 3 is 80. And the only factors of 33 are 3 and 11. 3 clearly doesn't go into 80 because 8 plus 0 is 8. And 11 doesn't go into 80 either. So we know that this is our reduced answer. Alright, let's move over to the next example. Get a little dividing line here. So we've got 24 and 42 as our denominator. So let's start this out the same way. Let's prime factor each of these. So there's our prime factorization of 24. There's our, my prime factorization of 42. Now my least common denominator, of course, is going to be each factor I see, so that's twos, threes, and sevens, raised to the highest number of times that factor appears. So two appears three times in 24, only once in 42, so I need the higher number, which is three of them. There's one three in 24 and one three in 42, so I just need the one, and then one seven in 42, no sevens in 24, so I just need one of those. So let's see, um, 2 to the third is 8, 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times 7 is 21, and let's do a little scratch work here, 21 times 8, so we get 168. Okay, so we need to make it so that each of these fractions ends up with a 168 on bottom. So 168 there, 168 there. Okay, so we just need to answer the question of what do I multiply 24 by to make 168? And again, feel free to just simply do long division, no problem. All right. And if you do your long division, um, what you'll end up with is 7. Okay, But again, how do you get at that answer? Um, let me go ahead and put times 7 there. How do you get at that answer by looking at this? Um, well, first you notice that there are three 2's in 24, so this 2 cubed came from 24. The 3 came from 24, so the only part of the LCD that didn't come from 24 is 7. So that must be what it's missing, and that's what we should multiply by. And then 42. We could always just do this. 168 divided by 42. Um, and what you'll end up getting is 4. Okay, let's talk about how you could get that from the prime factorization of the LCD. Um, well, there's a 7 in 42, there is a 3 in 42, and there's one 2. So what you might do at this point is you might say, all right, 2 cubed is really 2 times 2 times 2, and then what you can do is cross off one of those 2s. And so you're left with two 2s that 42 is missing, so 2 times 2 is 4. And so we know we're going to multiply uh, the top and bottom of 11 40 seconds by 4. So 7 times 7 is 49, 11 times 4 is 44, add those together, 
and we end up with 93. So we have 93 over 168. Now again we have to check to make sure this is reduced um, and again using the same trick we did in the last problem 9 plus 3 is 12 12 is divisible by 3 so so is 93. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 8 is 15 that's also divisible by 3 and so we know that 3 can come out of both of these and when we do that 93 divided by 3 is 31 which is a prime number and then 168 divided by 3 is 56.